Hi, I'm Rachel and this is Dylan. After over a year of hard work and planning for our big lap around Australia, we're finally setting off on our big adventure. Keep watching to see our first week on the road and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss all our videos travelling around this beautiful country we call home. Our first pit stop! <laughs> yeah. We've driven an hour out of Perth and we're um, at Yanshep Lagoon, just at one of the lookouts nearby. Oh, how exciting! Feeling good? Feeling good. Is it filming? <laughs> so we've just made it to our first stop. Um, which is actually just a rest stop on the side of the road but this is where we're staying tonight because it's free um, and something that I said I was going to do ages ago on our first night in the van was use a smudge stick um, never used one before but thought why not it feels like the right time to do it to try and like cleanse the van of any negative energy um, don't know that much about them but we're just gonna light it and <laughs> smoke out the van I do have like a little th I don't you're supposed to like put them out on a plate but all uh, our plates are plastic so if we did that, that would it plates. would melt the plate. So I have a little thing with like some water in it where most people say that it actually doesn't like stay alight that well. So you have to like, if you want it to keep going, you have to keep lining it. So let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, it smells nice. Kind of tonesy <laughs> getting. Smoky. <laughs> Smoky. All right. Think positive thoughts, babe. <laughs> An extra chip in my McDonald's meal, please. <laughs> it's just got like, all right, let's smudge <laughs> everywhere. It's definitely supposed to smoke more of it from the floor. You see, it's already like going out a little bit. Positive energy in the kitchen. Positive energy yeah. in the bedroom. <laughs> my lungs are enjoying this. <laughs> it's not that bad. Good morning. It was our first night in the van last night and it was so cold and probably will have much colder nights than that but it got down, I don't know what it got down to but at 6am this morning it was 9 degrees. Um, but we're up now, we are having a cup of tea or Dylan's having coffee but I don't drink coffee so having a massive cup of tea to try and warm me up and Tina is actually coming up to Lanceland today so she decided to come meet us up in Lanceland because it's only like an hour and a half out of Perth so we're gonna go sandboarding with her hang out in Lanceland and yeah that's the plan for today
After spending the day sandboarding, we came back to the sand dunes again to catch the sunset. After such a long day and a great send off from Tina, she decided to stay the night. So the three of us bunked together in Daisy. to Tina and we are now in Cervantes. We just saw the pinnacles and we're now about to have wraps for lunch. It's like what what time is it like three? Oh, three. Yeah three thirty so we're having a pretty late lunch so we're both pretty hungry. Very keen to get this in me. So we've just come to a 72 hour rest stop technically is what it is called Tewitt's Reserve and we are the only ones here. This is our little setup. And it's night three, but it feels like we've already been living this for well over a week. Um, so we'll see what the next few days brings us of our week one on the road.
What was supposed to be one night at Sandy Cape turned into three. Falling asleep to the sound of the waves and making friends with our neighbours, sharing stories around the fire and playing endless games of beach tennis, we couldn't have enjoyed this time more. playing the beach tennis um, and we've got a line of seaweed. Dylan's just moving some hazardous rocks. Oh, it's getting very competitive. Sandy Cape and we're on our way up to Geraldton. We're gonna stay in Geraldton for a couple of nights. But on the way up, we have just stopped at Lehman because we saw that there's some areas to fill up some drinking water. So on Wiki Camps, it showed us, it's a bit windy, but that this um, toilet block, it's super bright, but this toilet block has like a little drinking tap on the back. Kind of gave it a taste just to make sure it tasted all right and just filled up our water um, and we're now doing the dishes so i'm gonna go help dylan do that so this is where we're doing the dishes today so we are now in geraldton uh we got here probably around midday was it just after midday we are hoping to stay here for a few nights and just kind of hop between the different uh, 24 hour RV stops so we're currently in one that's at what's this called Francis Point I think is what it's called um, and this one is for self-contained campers so if you've got a toilet and you've got water um, because there's none around that is the whole reason why I bought a toilet and wanted to have a chemical toilet in case we were going to be staying at places that you needed to be self-contained then we actually had that available to us anyway the sun has set uh, we're probably going to start cooking dinner soon uh, but yeah I just love the colors of the sunset after the sun has actually set it's just beautiful Thank you for watching our first week of our Big Lap Around Australia. Subscribe so you don't miss the next ones. Next week we continue our journey up the coast of WA with some unexpected mishaps along the way.